Are you curious about all the lakes around Northwest Montana? In this video, we'll show you all the lakes that are in the Flathead Valley, and we'll talk about some of them that are right outside the Flathead Valley, and there's numerous lakes around here, so let's go take a look. So right now I'm at the fishing access of Lake 5, which is just outside of the main part of the Flathead Valley on the way to Glacier Park, just out of West Glacier, Montana. And in this video, we're gonna cover the lakes that are in the main part of the Flathead Valley, and there's plenty of them. And there's plenty of lakes just outside of the Flathead Valley, like this one. We have Ashley Lake, Little Bitterroot Lake, Smith Lake, Tally Lake, Lake Mary Ronan, Swan Lake, Rogers Lake, and then you have all the lakes in Glacier Park, Lake McDonald, Bowman Lake, Kintla, and on and on. So let's go check out the lakes that are inside the Flathead Valley. So we'll start at Lake Blaine, which is on the far east side of the Flathead Valley, right up against the mountains. It's a beautiful lake over here. Uh, you can only get to it by coming off of Yeoman Hall Road or Highway 35 to Lake Blaine Road up to Lake Blaine Drive. And then you can get to where I was filming it here. Uh, it's a private lake, meaning there are no public boat landings or fishing areas on this lake. So the only people that utilize it are the ones that own houses around it. Otherwise, you can't get on this lake. And you'll notice it's very low right now. I'm filming this in April, and a lot of lakes around here don't get up to full pool until the middle of June. And this lake, when it is at full pool, is has an average depth of 51 feet and a maximum depth of 141 feet. And there are no homes for sale right now on Lake Blaine. But in the past year, four houses sold that were on Lake Blaine, and they ranged in price from 1 million and 45,000 all the way up to 1.625 million. So if we head south from Lake Blaine, the next lake we'll come to is Echo Lake, and it's pretty close to the town of Big Fork. And this is a kind of a cool lake. There's little bays and coves all over. It kind of spreads way out around the area. And it has a maximum depth of 80 feet. And what this lake is known for is it's the warmest lake in the valley because it's not stream or glacier fed. I mean, there's a little creek that runs into it, but it's mainly the groundwater that feeds this lake. And again, early in the year, it's pretty low right now. But there are no homes for sale around Echo Lake at the moment. But over the past year, there were six of them that sold. And they ranged in price from 995000 all the way up to 2575000 But But there is public access on this lake. So a lot of people use it for fishing, water skiing, jet skiing. And it's just an all-around fun lake all summer long, so it's one of the most popular ones in the valley. So the next lake we'll look at is the one we're known for around here. This is Flathead Lake, and it is a huge lake. It's 30 miles long by 16 miles wide, has an average depth of 164 feet, and a maximum depth down at the southern end of 370 feet. And there's a dam down at the south end of the lake, which controls the level of the lake, and they Keep it pretty low in the winter, and then it has plenty of room to catch all the runoff in the springtime, and it usually gets to full pool about June 15th. There are five state parks around this lake. Uh, I'm at one of them now. This is Wayfarers and Big Fork, and there are nine towns that are on the lake. Right now, there are 17 homes for sale on Flathead Lake, and they range in price from $799.9 all the way up to $8.1 million. And there's a lodge for sale for $19 million. And last year, there were 78 homes sold on this lake, ranging in price from $575 all the way up to $21 million. So now we'll head up north from Flathead Lake to Foy's Lake, which is just to the west of Kalispell. Uh, it's very close to town. It's a popular, popular lake because of that. It's a smaller lake, and a lot of people use it for swimming and fishing and paddle boarding and you name it. Uh, there's a big island out there that is for sale, by the way, if you're interested. Um, and then there's another island right next to it 
that uh, I guess it's not technically an island. There's a road out there. It's called Treasure Island. There's a bunch of houses around it. But this this lake is 126 feet deep. And right now, there are no homes on the lake that are for sale. But in the past year, there have been three that have sold. And they ranged in price from $1.4 million all the way up to $2.25 million. And like I said, this is just to the west of Kalispell, so a lot of people can, you can get to downtown Kalispell in less than 10 minutes from here. And now that the bypass is around Kalispell, you can get here real quick. And the best thing about this lake is the color of the water. And today you can't see it as well, but it's got the real dark turquoise water. So we'll head a little further north up towards Whitefish, and this lake is Blanchard Lake, and it's just to the southwest of Whitefish. And if you're looking for a Midwestern type lake, this is the one. It's only a maximum depth of 30 feet, and as you can see, you got the reeds growing around the edges here. But great views of Big Mountain, and there are no homes for sale right now on Blanchard Lake. But last year, two of them were sold, and they ranged in price from one million four hundred twenty-five thousand, all the way up to three point two million. So there is public access to Blanchard Lake, but the southwest corner of the lake, about a quarter of the lake, is within the Whitefish Hills subdivision that is a gated private community. So if you live over there, there's private community access. So that brings us to the last lake on our video, and that is Whitefish Lake. And Whitefish Lake is about six miles long and about a mile and a half wide. And you have great views of the ski resort up there. It's right in town. There's walking paths and trails uh, that you can get to downtown from there. This is the city beach area. Uh, there's homes all the way around the lake except for the uh, northwest part of the lake, about a quarter of the lake over there. Uh, there are no homes, it's just the railroad goes down that side of the lake. Uh, as far as recreation goes, people use this lake for boating, uh, paddle boarding, jet ski, all of the above. It's a very popular lake in the summer. Another thing is this is the Whitefish River that dumps out of the south end of the lake and it flows all the way through the town of Whitefish. So you can put in a paddle board right there or a canoe or anything without a motor. Motors are not allowed on the Whitefish River uh, and go all the way through town and then come back up to the lake when you're done. Uh, just makes it a great lake, great for recreation. Real estate is showing the signs of the popularity. Uh, there are only two places for sale right now on the lake and they range from seven and a half million all the way up to 30 million for a place that has 35 acres down at the end of the lake. And last year there were 12 places that were sold on Whitefish Lake and they ranged from 2.3 million all the way up to 5.3 million. Thank you for watching our video. Please call, text, or email for more information. And don't forget to watch our other videos about Montana.